I'm here to show you guys what I got this year for Christmas, 2K16. So first off, Merry Christmas, guys. Hope that it's been great for you and that you guys are safe and well and most of all happy. And also, second of all, sorry about the background noise in advance. It's probably bad right now and it's probably just going to get worse. We've got an almost four-year-old down there. See, I'm at my sister Ashley's house and we've got a lot of family over. Therefore, it's loud, so hence all the noise. Anyway, I just thought that I could show you guys and share with you what I got. So, a little backstory. I helped my dad out with his work a little bit. So, I do this and that, just the small and easier things, just to help him out. An example could be I helped to schedule a few of his events and work trips. So, anyway, I decided to splurge on gifts this year, more than not. And then I was like, well, I kind of want to treat myself now. So I just thought that I would use the money that I got for my dad's work and do a few little gifts to me and from me. So how about I show you guys this first? All right, so I live in Washington State. As of right now, I'm here in Idaho at my sister's. And just for privacy and safety reasons and precautions, I'm going to actually tell you that it's an hour away from my house. That's all I'm going to say. That's where I thrifted a few items. So we've got these two pieces here and then this thing. So I'll talk about them real fast. So this is so funny because I, because I have two other ones of these. This one's the most colorful one. So it's this really, really pretty bubblegum pink and it's got this v-shaped pattern on the front towards the neck and it's just got these flowers and beads and pearls and ribbons and I love the pastels there's purple blue pink yellow pretty pastel colors there's green in there too and then I like how there's some at the sleeves just before the cuffs and a little bit at the bottom the back's just plain with anything there and I just thought it was really, really cute. I have a gray blue one and then another pink one with just solid pink. I think one of my favorite parts would be the sleeves. I like how the thread has a little bit of sparkle to it, like a sparkly thread. So $5 makes me so happy. And Dan and Scott, I think, what it says. Size small. Does not look like one. So there's that. And then another thrift store, I got these two here. So we got something from Artisans, Screen Printing and Embroidery. Again, $5. This one is so large. Both sweaters I can wear with some leggings, which is nice. I mean, who doesn't like to wear those things? This one's real pretty. I've been on the hunt for something along these lines for so, so long. Something that looks kind of sort of like a sheep, almost. Obviously it's not. It's totally not animal, but I thought it was so cute and girly because it's got these washed out colors with flowers and hats front and back. And then I liked how the top has the rib detail that goes along with the cuffs of the sleeves. So cute. And then this thing, two dollars, has a little lid. It's kind of like a vase. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with it. It's got this heinous smell to it, like a maybe dead rotting fish. Not cute. It just reminds me of stained glass. I love those types of windows. So I just thought this would be really, really cool. So, I don't know what that is. I did not get that for Christmas. So those are the thrifted things. Other things that I bought myself, they're right here. And they're both pink, obviously, of course. So we've got the Macy's American Rag. And this is a size 1X. I did that because I wanted it extra big. It was more form-fitting. It still covered your butt. I got a size small, originally. And then I was like, hey, I'm not going to do it. So I ended up with this bad boy. So, I mean, it can't be more girly. It's this pretty dusty rose kind of pink. Long sleeve, really, really baggy. Too short to be a dress, though. So it's got these T 
T-shaped patches of pink lace to match the rest of it that go down on either side. And then it's got a pretty tiny detail that is now everywhere. So that's really, really pretty. You can tie it in a bow, just let it hang down. I prefer to let it hang down because sometimes it will bunch really, really awkwardly and not all about that. Long sleeves are just slightly baggy, really, really baggy when it meets with the rest of the shirt. But I think it's kind of cute. I don't like skin tight clothes, so that's why I have huge, huge tops. <laughs> There's that. And also, this is slight high low, it has a little cut right here, a little slit on either side. So it's just overall really, really cute. And gunmetal looks like the hardware detail. So we don't forget the waist panel back. So, there's that. And, ooh, price. How much were you? And that was on sale. Mm -hmm. It was 60. I got it for 20. And this guy was also 20. Originally 35. This brand, still from Macy's, but a different brand. Hippie Rose, and it's a size medium. Again, it's that same pretty dusty pink kind of color, kind of moi. And it's got this hood. It's also got these cute little thumb holes. I'm a big, big, big fan of thumb holes. I've only had one other thumb hole top before. Who knows what happened to it? But anyway, it's so, so cute. It bothered me, though, simply because the first one that I bought was all messed up. It had a really, really weird bunched up part right below the hole. I not appreciate that. And then anyway, it's pretty white detailing, white little tassels for the hood, and then the bottom, only in the front, is a little bit of crochet. And then it's slight tie though. Really, really cute. Again, with leggings. Really all four of those could go with some leggings. Um, how about this? After this more from Macy's. So these were $40, the pants, as well as, I believe the top. Yes. So we got them, technically buy one, get one free. Was that it? Yeah. So $40 together, $20 each. Kind of like buy one, get one free. Anyway, this is a pretty maroon color. They're velvet. It's a set. We got sweats. We got top, hood, pockets, with the zipper in between them. I like this little detailing. I do appreciate the fact that there's no label or emblem, no name. I hate stuff like that. Like, they want you to promote what they are. It's just like, but I already bought you. Like, I already bought them. Anyway. And then, because I will be attending BYU Idaho as of this coming January, my mom got this bad boy for me. So, size medium. Again, like I said, I'm not a fan of those tight clothes. Just can't move it. So, it's BYU Idaho in white with a little white Nike symbol. That's clean, nice red color. Not in your face. It has a little bit of maroon tones to it. So. Short sleeve tee. Don't know the price of that. Sorry. I'm assuming it's on sale like everything else. And then another thing for school these really, really thick, fleece like black gloves. And they're size medium. They call them thin slit. They were originally. How much? $25? Yeah, and then my mom got them on sale. I believe ten dollars is what she said. It's really, really nice. I like how you can hold stuff because it's got this whatever you want to call that. Not netting. It's kind of rubbery. Really. And then there's this thing from my grandma. This is just like her. She's from Oregon, and she's I don't want to say a standard hippie, but she kind of is. She's really, really into herbs and supplements and natural things and remedies and stuff like that. But anyway, it's this pretty pink color. I love it. And it's really, really, really soft. 
not quite as soft as the hoodie thing I showed you. Like that's a baby's butt right there. But it's by Norwex and it's just a washcloth. I was actually in dire need of one of these, so I'm grateful for that. My grandma's awesome. She's so cute. I like how it's kind of like a little bow, the little red and gold thing around it. So I can't say the price of that. But look up Nortex or Norwex on YouTube. That's what my grandma said to do. So, how about we go to the dog things? So this right here is what a family friend made me and what my mom bought for me. So, I used to have a pink dog pillow, not the same pattern or anything, but another one from this family friend that my mom got. And I needed to replace it, the other one got so old and it was more of a blanket, it was so punched down and punched in, you know. This is really, really fluffy. So charcoal gray fleece on the back and then this cute black and white and gray pattern with pops of red. I just love the different dogs in here. Like, I'm, I need to draw that sometime. But anyway, it's really, really cute. And then, to go with the dog theme, I know I just turned 19 last month, and here I am holding a webkin, which I got for Christmas. So there's this bookstore that my dad knows about, and he got this, just as a joke. Just one sec. And it was just kind of funny, because they're really, really, really cheap there. They're not the original 15 price, you know? That's about how much they are. Ridiculous. But anyway, so he got that for me. I have almost 50 of them. I've collected them over the years. I haven't bought them since middle school, but it's a cute little bulldog. Little yellowy tan color with white. I like how this ear's all messed up. Really, really cute. So I'm going to have to put them online. I'm so obnoxious. Them. Just a few more things. Another college item. Three things of ramen, the oriental flavor. My number one top favorite. With a cute little barberware silver steel little pot. That's the name. That's what they're called. So, and I'm going to be using that. Three things of Orbit Spearmint Gum. I'm a gumaholic. It's kind of bad. And then this candy cane with a bunch of colorful gumballs. I need me a gumball machine that look wicked awesome with all those guys. And then, there I was, 4 or 5 a.m., whatever it was this morning, trying to switch this Snickers one, which was originally mine, to a Twix one that my brother and my sponsor got. And he noticed. He is one of the Santas here at the house, and of course he realized someone, maybe me, maybe not, decided to switch up. He switched up back. Anyway, so that would be the clothes, the random, the college, the treats, snacks, goodies. Four more things. There's this book. My dad is a Disney fan. I'm a little baby version of what he is. I'm a Disney nut, but not like him. I just think this is so, so cool. It's this Disney pop-up gallery book, and it's just so cute, so nice, and I'll just show you one of the pages. There's the Lady and the Tramp one, for example, so it's just really, really intricate and detailed, so, so pretty. I love the black and white. I've really, really been into black and white art, so this really, really made me happy. I'm going to keep this forever. That. And then I'm here, just money from my parents, and then a gift card from my sister, actually. None other than Target, of course. And then last but not least, we got these two pairs of shoes. So Steve Madden, I'm not one to spend a lot of money on really anything. I can't spend $20 without not feeling bad about it. Well, I guess without. Is that a double negative statement? Anyway, I'd feel bad. Anyway, these plain black combat boots. They've got this gunmetal detailing. The zipper is black. They're just really, really, really nice. They have that new car smell, which I really hate, but it smells. So there is that. And then we got it on sale. I think. No receipts. No, nothing. I want to say that's seven something.
originally over 100. And then by Arizona Jane, these moccasins. Currently right now I've got a plain pair of tan. This is a lighter shade of tan, kind of like a tan slash cream. But this one isn't plain, it's got this little pretty tribal inspired patch right here. Not patch, but it's like stitched in and it's a lighter shade of the rest of the shoe. Cute little bow. And I'm a nine and a half, just for reference. So there's that. These were $20. Yeah, $20 on sale. But here's it. So anyway, this is, by the way, one of two trees at this house. I think that's so cute. I thought it was the Cash tree. Cash is the name of my sister's kid. And I just thought they would stuff all of his gifts under here. I don't know, I just thought that was kind of cute, but it's just more for him to decorate, I guess. He did a good job. Anyway, I like the red. Goes well with this ugly Christmas one. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Christmas. I also hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.